Hi everyone, in this video we're going to automatically warp the shape of a 3D model to reduce the aerodynamic drag. And for this we're going to use what they call the Ahmed body, which is a very iconic and old geometric model of a very, very, very simplified car that they once put into the wind tunnel. It was used for CFD correlation to the wind tunnel and so on. And we're going to actually apply some morphing to the rear end of that car at this location actually, to see what happens if we ask the software, which is based on adjoint simulations, to automatically morph the tail to get a lower drag value. So the orange box here is what we call the design space. So the software is not allowed to touch the geometry outside of this box, only within this box it's allowed to actually play with the geometry and see if it can reduce drag. So we just set up the basic parameters, typically this is tested at 40 meters per second. Uh, this model is about one meter long. We're going to add layers uh, because the flow separation is quite important um, at this rear slant of the Ahmed body. And then this system, the software will run through a number of cycles where it first analyzes the normal aerodynamics then it runs an adjoint simulation to know how the surface should be moved then it will morph the surface and then it will iterate that cycle a number of times and this is actually the output so this is the original shape um, where we can see some vortices coming off the side edges here which is normal because the air actually wants to go from the side to this inward part where you have a low pressure area um, actually uh, drawing in air from the sides so it tumbles around these edges and then you have this area here which is causing drag you have a wake that is left there um, and you have some flow separation as the air here uh, needs to dive from the top flat plane to this slant angle so if we can somehow give so a bit more back pressure here so that this one doesn't separate that would be nice so let's see what the flow uh, optimization has done so here you can see that the software got up to seven, seven cycles to actually optimize the shape. And basically what it is doing is it's creating actually a spoiler, uh, which you see on modern uh, sedans as well these days. So what's happening is that this extended part here um, will actually change the pressure upstream as well, hopefully reducing the flow separation there and actually creating a more aerodynamic shape um, for this uh, geometry. So you can see that it really does this in the center of the geometry and the drag actually gets reduced from around 0 0.33, 0 0.335 to let's say 0 0.28, which is a dramatic reduction in drag. Of course, this is a very simplistic shape, very simple shape, so you can expect some dramatic changes. Nevertheless, really interesting to see what this technique does. If we then see what this shape looks like in detail. So I've loaded the original one in blue and the new one in green. So of course they, they glitch a bit here because they're on the same spot. Um, so if I hide the original one, you'll see that the green one really sticks out with the spoiler here. And uh, the blue one is actually much higher in this midsection. So what really is happening is that the air gets to dive into this cavity, then uh, gets on top of the spoiler and this reduces drag uh, quite a lot. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this technique, feel free to contact us so we can discuss your project. We'll drop a link to this sample project down below so you can check it out yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.